Hi all. Today we'll look into about React 17 new version. We know React 17 doesn't contain any new features, but there is an interesting topic called JSX transform. So without importing the React React from React package, we can develop the React components using JSX. Let's see that. I have taken an application generated from create React app. So here, if you observe, I'm importing React from React package. This application was built on React 16.8 version. So earlier we are importing this React from React package, but you might have some doubt like we are not using this React, but you, we are importing. So internally, this syntax is known as JSX. Browser can't understand this JSX. So internally, Babel will convert this JSX into plain JavaScript. So what happens means it will convert that plain that JSX syntax, Babel will convert that JSX syntax into plain JavaScript in this manner. So it will take the H1 element, null is a class name. So we don't have any class name here. So it would be null and hello world would be the children which we can give here. So once we write a JSX syntax like this, it will automatically convert, Babel will convert this JSX into plain JavaScript object. So here we are using React. So as we are using React here, we are importing React. So this is for React 16.8 versions. So from React 17, there is no need of importing this React. So directly we can write in this manner. So for this, for each and every React component we built, we, are, we need to import React from React package. So this is an overhead. So we can prevent this by adding this import at the compiler level. So if we do some setting at the compiler level, the compiler will handle this so that the puff, it, it will improve the performance and reduces the bundle size as well. So let's see how to add this at the compiler level. So if we are using Babel transform react, we need to add this plugin or if we are already using, we can update that and add this plugin to the Babel configuration. Here, the runtime would be classic. We need to change that to automate. So if we are using Babel preset react, we need to update this preset react package. And we, we need to change, modify the Babel configurations in this manner. I will keep all these commands under the description. So once we are done with this and we update from 16.x to 17, then we need to do this in order to use this JSX transform feature. Then there would be no import statements in our application. There won't be any breaking changes. If we update from React 16.x to 17, there won't be any breaking changes. And also you can, you can freely move to this JSX transform as well. So there, there is no need to do all these manual changes, Go, going to each and every component and removing the imports. We no need to do all those things. React people had provided one script. So if you go to your project and if you run this command, npx react code mod and update the React imports. If you run this import, uh, if you run this command in your project level, it will automatically remove your React imports. It will re remove the React import and it will keep our uh, component in this simple way. If you are using any of the hooks in this manner, it will convert in this way. It will remove the React. And if you are using any hooks, it will do this. This script will automatically handle all these changes in our application. We no need to do manual changes. This is when we are trying to upgrade from 16.8 to 17 and we don't want to do any manual changes, then we can use this script. If not also, there won't be any breaking changes. So this is all about the new JSX transform. Thanks, thanks for watching.